What's up you guys? This is Danny B and you're watching The Trash Stash. And uh, today I went to a thrift store, a local thrift store we got over here. And they're having a sale. Uh, usually their VHS costs only 25 cents each. But they're having a sale on top of that. 20 VHS for $2. So I got a huge bag of them. And uh, it's mostly action movies. I'm going to show what I got. First up we got Young Guns 2 and uh, I haven't seen the first Young Guns and I haven't seen this one um, I've seen parts of Young Guns Part 1 and of course you know the regulator song uh, you can't be no geek off the street gotta earn your keep I know that's from Young Guns uh, I'm gonna check this out but after I check out Part 1 all right, next up we got an Alfred Hitchcock movie, Shadow of a Doubt, and uh, this is filmed in my city. Very cool, and uh, it's filmed very close to where they film Scream at also. I haven't seen this either, I gotta watch it. All right, next up we got Face Off, another one of my favorite uh, Nicolas Cage action movies and also John Travolta, he's okay in it. Uh, this is, um, what's his name, Wu? Uh, uh, John Woo did this one, and, uh, it's cool. It's not as good as Con Air, and, um, not my favorite, but I do like it. Uh, I always like when he goes, he took his face off. <laughs> Alright, uh, next we got True Lies with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, you know what? I actually never saw this one either. And I got to because it's got uh, Bill Paxton, who's one of my favorite actors in it. Yeah. Gotta check it out. Now this is the one I was thinking of. This is, uh, I like this a little bit better than Face Off. And it is The Rock. This one was a great action movie with um, uh, Sean Connery and Nicolas Cage. And they're in Alcatraz fighting terrorists. And uh, there's a cool scene where... I think it's Nicolas Cage. He shoves a, a chemical warfare bomb thing up a, a terrorist's mouth. And the guy, I think he melts or I don't know what happens. But it's a good movie. Alright, next up we got Terminator 2 Judgment Day. With a cool shiny chameleon paint cover. And uh, yeah. Everyone knows Terminator 2. Awesome. One of the greatest action movies ever. I like part one a little bit better, but I love this one also. Hasta la vista, baby. All right. Next up, we got Batman. And uh, this is my favorite Batman film. Favorite uh, actor to play Batman, Michael Keaton. And favorite version of the Joker, uh, Jack Nicholson. And Tim Burton was awesome at directing this. He uh, he knew how to do all the cool lighting and all that stuff. And um, the guy that did the sets, I don't know his name, but they made such a cool version of Gotham City. It was almost like the 1940s and the 1980s combined. Uh, yeah, this movie's awesome. Always love this. And I think it actually holds up better than like the Christian Bale Batman movies. Those were, you know, everyone loved those when those came out. But now I think they're kind of dying off. Like, they're kind of starting to go downhill. And this one still stands the test of time, I think. Alright. I gotta set this pile down because this is all gonna fall. Alright, next up. We got Fatal Instinct. And I have no idea what this is. Um, it's got a cool picture of, like... Some guy with a gun and shaving cream all over his face on the back. Uh, I'll have to check this out. It's got Sherilyn Finn, huge babe uh, from Twin Peaks. And uh, yeah, gotta check it out. 
All right, then we get Saving Silverman. And uh, I saw this in theaters when it came out. It was kind of a funny comedy with uh, Jack Black and um, uh, what's that guy's name? Steve Zahn. And they're the roommates of this guy uh, played by the American Pie guy, um, Jason, uh, Jason Biggs. He's basically, he's dating kind of like this um, controlling type of girlfriend. And they're trying to like ruin the relationship so that they can get their friend back. It's it's pretty, <laughs> it's not the greatest movie, but it, it's kind of funny. Next up, we got The Little Death. And I don't know what this is. It looks like some kind of like erotic thriller or something. Uh, yeah, I have no idea. I gotta check it out. Uh, let's, what does it say on it? She had a body that was to die for. How could he know he might have to? Yeah, sounds cool. Ten cents, you can't go wrong, you know. Alright, next up, we got Armageddon. And uh, this is one of those, another one of those, like, movies where they try to shove everyone in the same movie. I think it has some of the same people from Con Air in it. Uh, you know, I was never a huge fan of this one. It was okay. But yeah, this was in the, the stack, and I was trying to, like, find 20 tapes for uh, the $2 deal, so I went with this. Okay, movie. And speaking of Con Air, next up we got Con Air. And I already have this on VHS, but, uh, you know, what's wrong with a second copy? I might give this away to my brother for Christmas or something. Yeah, this is my favorite Nicolas Cage action movie. It's had everyone in it. I talked about this in like two other videos. All right, next up, we got Independence Day, also known as ID4. And um, I saw this back in the day. Holy shit, look at this. This thing came with the, with like a hologram for it. That's awesome. Wow, I can't believe that no one ever took this thing out. This looks brand new. Oh, I had it upside down. Look at that. Oh my god, that's that's so cool. Wow. But yeah. But yeah, uh, I saw this in theaters when it came out, and uh, I loved it as a little kid. Uh, the first half of the movie is awesome. Second half, it goes downhill a little bit, but it's still cool. You got uh, Randy Quaid in there going calling them alien assholes and stuff, and uh, Will Smith is, you know, going like, what's that smell, and I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Jeff Goldblum and uh, Judd Hirsch, and, uh, you know, Judd Hirsch is running around going like, my David, my David could solve all of this. Yeah, it's funny shit. Independence Day, ID4. All right, next up, we got Punchline. And this is a, a drama about comedians, uh, and it's pretty bad. <laughs> this has, like, Sally Fields trying to buy jokes from Tom Hanks or something. I don't know. It's a pretty ridiculous 80s uh, movie about co comedians, stand-up comedians. Next up, we got The Fugitive. And this is an awesome... Uh, action thriller where uh, Harrison Ford is on the run and he's trying to run away. Uh, he was framed for a crime and uh, Tommy Lee Jones is after him. This was a huge hit in the 90s. I'm sure everyone probably knows it. The Fugitive. Next up we got another Harrison Ford action movie. Air Force One. Get off my plane! <laughs> this is uh, he plays the president and um his plane gets taken over, I think it's by terrorists. And, uh, yeah, he, he, he's fighting back or something. It's been a long time since I've seen this, but, uh, me and my brother always used to quote that, Get off my plane! Yeah, this movie is funny. Definitely worth the ten cents. Alright, next up, we got... 
Backdraft. And uh, I never saw this. I know it's like some kind of drama where Kurt Russell is a firefighter. Um, yeah, I gotta watch it. I hear it's real good. I think I don't think it's an action movie. I think it's a drama. But yeah, Backdraft. Alright, next up, we got Absence of Malice with uh, Paul Newman and Sally Field. And uh, I never saw this. It looked kind of cool, so I thought I'd pick it up. All right, next up, we got The Sixth Sense. And, you know, uh, this is a movie about a kid that sees ghosts. And uh, Bruce Willis is hanging out with him, talking to him and stuff like that. Investigating why he can see the ghosts. And uh, I saw this in theaters when I was about 13 or 14. And it was pretty scary. You know, honestly, I don't get... That scared by horror movies usually. This one actually kind of freaked me out. Uh, mostly just because I... That's a big part of why I don't like supernatural stuff. Because ghosts actually do kind of freak me out. Alright, and last up we got... The Blues Brothers. And uh, I always loved the Blues Brothers. You know, Dan Aykroyd and John Belushi. Awesome movie, uh takes place in Chicago. You know, I grew up in Chicago, so it's reminiscent for me. Um, you got all these cool musical people. You got Ray Charles. You got all these other blues musicians. You got Aretha Franklin. A um, uh, bunch of cool people. Funny shit, you know, especially the scene with the nun. <laughs> and uh, the car chase through the mall is awesome. And uh, Dan Aykroyd going, I'm on a mission from God. <laughs> yeah. Awesome movie, The Blues Brothers. Alright, you guys, that was my $2 20 movie haul. And uh, how cool is it finding the ID4 holograph in, uh, or lenticular, or whatever you call it, still in the box? I had no idea that was in there when I picked it up. Very cool. And yeah. Alright, you guys. Thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe, hit the like button, all that stuff. And uh, thank you for watching again. This is Danny B. Peace out.